Hello Taurus and welcome to your July 2022 singles love reading. Taurus, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising signs to see if there's more information in those um, signs for you. If you're looking for more guidance or more clarity, feel free to check in those for yourself. Taurus, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome to Force for the Trees. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. Welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for your trust. Sorry about that. Your support, your likes and subscribes, all your energy. I've got way too many cords and I'm trying to put them up. So they're just not wanting to cooperate. <clears throat> anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. And thank you for your time and your energy. Try to get this steady. Sorry. All right, technical difficulties. I don't know why it's pulling. All right, that's still moving. Hmm. All right, Taurus, we are going to pull three cards for um, overall energy for you guys and see where we are in that for you. All right, this is the Taurus Singles. Whoa. Taurus Singles. Now, you could be newly single. You could be you could be in a relationship for a long, long, long time, and you just got out of one. You could have been in a short-lived relationship. You could be um, never been in a relationship. I mean, the possibilities are endless. So, you know, if you're single, you know you're single. If you're looking... You know, it will show if you're needing to do work on yourself. It's going going to show. So we'll see. If there's people coming in, it will show. Potential partners, it will show. All right, Taurus. Beautiful. Freedom. Choice. And shadow self. Oh, I love that on the first card. I love that. All right. Taurus. I'm going to start with this card, the shadow self, because this just tells me that you, this tells me that you have been doing a lot of work on yourself. You've been going into those places that not everybody wants to go to, to um, figure out what's going on, what's your best course of action, why things happened if you were in a relationship that, you know, came to a close or something happened that way why, what's going on, all the things. You're figuring it out. You're doing the work. You're doing the deep dive. You're doing the shadow work that you need to do to make yourself a better person, to make yourself understand what's going on and what can be done to uh, change it, right? I love the spider web right there. I don't know if you can see that on the lighting. I just love that beautiful card. Uh, the knowledge, the wisdom with that transformation is all there opening the doors that are um opening the doors that are being opened or going through the doors that are being opened for yourself to recognize the change that you've been doing and the transformation that you have been heralding and that's going to lead to your freedom that's going to lead to your freedom from being bound to anybody or anything or any person or any situation, uh, freeing yourself, releasing yourself, giving yourself permission, allowing yourself. It's like you're in charge of you and you're allowing this. You are letting this happen. You are taking control of the situation so you can better yourself, so you can be more stable and secure in your own for a person coming in. All right. And then we have choice. Again, the freedom will lead you to choice. You don't have to latch on or grab hold of the first person that comes in. There could be many. You could be doing online dating. But you're, you're starting this path forward. You're starting this movement to go through into, better, into a better you, into better choices, into more um, thought about choices. And I can't help with her looking in the crystal ball, that it's not like um, like somebody that you knew was coming or you felt, you know, you're going to feel a kindred spirit with this person when they come in. Kind of that energy. All right, we're going to pull some cards for you, Taurus, and see what we have. 
Taurus Singles Love July 2022, please. Taurus Singles Love July 2022. We have the Four Swords. We have a Knight of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Wands. Interesting. Okay, so under the um, Shadow Self, we have the Four of Swords. This is a card of letting, I think I said wands earlier, sorry. Um, this is letting go of your thoughts, giving yourself a rest, giving yourself permission, right? The Shadow Self is all about allowing, allowing that darkness to come in, allowing you to see what's what's really going on. And the, and the Four of Swords is a card about giving yourself the permission to get out of your head for a while. Go take a rest. Sleep all day if you need to. Um, go on a vacation. Anything that's going to get you out of your head. It's like you've done so much cobweb clearing, so to speak, that it's time to um, reward yourself, to give yourself a break, to give yourself a rest. It's going to bring you in a more stable energy. It's going to bring you in a more um, um, structured energy also. Make you think clearer. With freedom, we have the uh, Knight of Pentacles. This could be a person coming in that's going to have an offer for you. It could be somebody you meet at work with the Pentacles. Um, they could be interested in you. Pentacles can, um, oh gosh, how can I put this? They can notice you and they can really like you, but they can be very slow about moving anything forward. So if there's somebody in there that is like this and they like you and you know they like you and you like them maybe ask them out or maybe you take the initiative and you make the first move this is a knight it's a male it can be a female it doesn't matter it's the energies so it's that energy of you know somebody could really like you somebody could be offering you something it could be somebody you work with with the pentacle energy uh taurus virgo capricorn so it's you it could be somebody like you it could be another taurus it could be obviously virgo or capricorn as well or with that placement in the charts um, you know, the pentacles, they're very stable energy. They're very, um, grounded earth energy. They're very much an energy of, uh, potential. Not only seeing the potential in a person, but the, the, blah, blah, blah. the person that you are seeing maybe sees their own potential and is maybe following through with it or taking this forward. It could be somebody that you might be working on a project together with at work, even that you might have a relationship that develops. On choice, you have the Ten of, Ten of Wands. And I feel like um, maybe in the past, in relationships, you've, you've had choices to maybe take an easy way. Maybe there was somebody that really liked you that maybe was very financially set or could give you the world, but you didn't reciprocate. There wasn't a spark there. There wasn't love there. That sense that they loved you. Maybe you didn't follow through with it. I just feel like you you had opportunities to take an easier way out. And you chose to um, do the way that or follow the path that you had to follow in order for you to learn. In order for you to fall. In order for you to get up. In order for you to know the red flags. In order for you to... To know what it feels like and to struggle and to try and to fail and to get back up again. And it helps, it builds character and it helps you grow. And the Ten of Wands is a card too of talking about releasing, of being done, of coming to a completion, being able to go drop those sticks at someone's house. You know, it's been a long road, but you're almost at your destination. You've got green leaves coming. It's showing your growth. It's showing your knowledge here. So whatever you've been through in the past, whatever you've had to put up with, whatever you've dealt with, you've could, you could have taken an easier path out, but you chose to stick to it and you chose to uh, learn from it and grow from it. Well, there you go. Goodness gracious. Hang on just a second. All right, the Magician was one that fell. Page of Pentacles, the Magician. Seven of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck energy, we have the Chariot. Card of Cancer, card of moving forward, taking direction, taking aim at what you want, going after it, moving in the direction you want to go in, not being stagnant, having that um, 
having that movement forward, right? And going in the direction you want to go. You're not, you're not uh, relying on other people uh, for answers, right? I feel that with these pinnacles. It's like, again, you might like them, they might like you, but you don't want to wait around forever. And you could ask them out or you could come out and say, hey, do you like me or whatever, but they still might drag their feet. This is a, another potential person coming in. Again, you have your pentacle sign. It could be somebody you mean at work. Or you could be receiving a message from somebody that likes you or that is interested in you. They could be very immature or they could be very much younger. Even if they're older than you or your age, they could have a very mature, immature, immature, not mature, um, very childlike ways about them. And it could be where, um, you know, I feel like you've done all this work on yourself and you're like, I'm not going to help them help themselves. Not that you wouldn't help them help themselves, but you don't want to have to put all that time and energy in your partner where your partner should have already put in work on themselves and not just relied on you or um, relied on, you know, somebody else to take care of them or quote unquote fix them. Right. And, um, it's like, they can be very sweet, they can be very endearing, but they have a lot of, could be a lot of issues that they have to resolve themselves. Nobody can help them but themselves, and you have to take care of you. So, on this beautiful card of freedom, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and then we have the Magician. Again, this is talking about you being in charge of you, kind of like the chariot, steering in the direction you want to go in. Everything you need, everything you have been through in the past, you can put into a relationship coming into the future. Knowing the red flags, knowing that people, some people aren't who they say they are, knowing that um, there's deceit and lies and, you know, again, people that aren't, I can't say good, but have good intentions and implementing everything implementing your knowledge into a relationship so everything you know you've worked for or not worked for but everything you've well worked for as far as relationship wise everything you've worked everything you put in everything you've learned you have it in you you don't have to rely on um you know your gut instinct is what you need to rely on you don't need to watch youtube videos about how to be in a relationship or anything like that now you can always have friends that you know, you can run things by, right? But you're almost, I can't say past that because friendship and somebody's outside opinion is always good, but you really can hone in to these energies now. You really have that going on. We have the seven of pentacles and the ten of wands and um, I can't remember that card. Oh yeah, choice. So these, this is all about choices. This is all about creating the life you want you know, planting the seeds, waiting for them to grow, waiting for them to start taking, well, they take, they've taken root, start to flower, start to blossom, start to have abundance. You could be planting, you know, the seed of you want a partner who is single. You don't want a partner who's attached. You don't want a partner going through divorce. You want a partner who wants kids or doesn't want kids, who has a house or doesn't have a house, who wants a family, doesn't want a family, has a job, good sense of humor, isn't violent, very even-tempered, very funny. It makes you laugh, that kind of energy. Um, and you're putting in that, and it's also talking about um, being able to let go, right? Being able to let go. Once you put out that to the universe, let it go. Let it be free. Just like that dove. Let it be free. Let it go and let the universe take care of it for you. Because you've put that out there to them. If you keep tweaking it, it's kind of like um, you put it out to the universe and the universe sends it out and goes, okay. It's kind of like if you place an order. Okay, just pretend you place an order on the perfect person. You want them this way and you say, please universe, please, and you let it go. And then a week later you go, oh, but I want somebody that is from Canada. And then the universe is going, oh, we just had the right person here for you, but now you want a Canadian. So we got to go start over again. So you can be prolonging something. I mean, they're specific, but get down to the specifics as far as what can you live with. You know, the eye color and the hair color and what state or country they're from. I mean, you know, that could be getting nitpicky. And if you do want that, make sure you put it in the initial uh, round one, right? That way the universe doesn't have to keep working so hard and tweaking your order, so to speak. All right. 
we have Page of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and Shadow. Is it Shadow Work, Shadow Self? What clarifier, please? For Taurus, Singles, Love. Nope. The Six of Cups. Interesting. Um, you know, I think getting in touch with your shadow work, shadow self, is going to make you um, think about your childhood. Think about how you grew up. Think about past relationships. And that's kind of a nostalgia card. Um, I feel with this card, it's, it's to take what makes you stronger. Take what... Um, you know, maybe has been passed down from generation to generation. Maybe it's a relationship like your grandparents had. Maybe it's a relationship like your mom and dad have or, you know, your great grandparents or whatever. It's implementing kind of that into the future you or the future relationships. Um, remembering how things used to be. Remembering um, a, a time where things weren't so stressful and kind of implementing that, especially with the Four of Swords, kind of implementing that. Everything doesn't have to be so quick. Everything, you know, maybe write letters, maybe go back into that um, where everything's not so instant. You know what I'm trying to say? The texting, that everything's so instant. Maybe go back to um, letter writing or go back to, you know, this card too can portend travel. It could be where somebody is um, maybe not in your country where maybe you have to travel or they're not in your state. So maybe there is letter writing or maybe there is some longer form of communication than, you know, just seeing, you know, you could be talking on the phone or you could be talk, texting or whatever a lot. Really getting to know each other is what I feel with the Six of Cups. Really putting in that energy. Really um, remembering how simpler things could be or how simpler things, how life used to be simpler in that sense. So we have the Magician, the Knight of Pentacles, and then Freedom. And I have to say too, especially if you live in the United States, Freedom is July 4th. We have, you know, um, 4th of July. So that could have some significance there to that also. And there is a full moon on July 13th in Capricorn. Alright. What does the Magician page of, or I'm sorry, Knight of Cups, and then Freedom. There we go. Okay. It goes really well with the Magician card. The Nine of Wands talks about having that energy of you've been through a lot. Remember what I said? Everything you've been through, you're learning. Everything you've been through, there's a reason for. Everything you've been through, you can implement into another relationship. Roll it over, so to speak. And this is a wounded warrior. I mean, this person has been through the ringer. They're, they're hurt, they're battered, and they're still there. They're still standing. They're still wanting something. They're still wanting to pursue something. And nine is a completion. Nine is um, taking what you've learned. Nine is gaining wisdom. Uh, can bring a contentment because you stuck it out. Holding your ground, holding what you know, what you've been fighting for, what type of person you've been wanting, not settling is what I see with the Nine of Wands, not settling. And again, with the Magician card, you know, bringing in this energy that you know how to handle or you know what you're looking for, you know what you want to manifest and not settling for something until it, it comes in, not settling for um, a person or a situation that is not going to be in your best interest. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Wands, and then Choice, was it? Yes, Choices. And this one fell out. We have the King of Cups. Beautiful. Now, Tauruses could be a person coming in. They are, um, they could be Pisces, Scorpio, um, uh, Cancer Energy. That's interesting because this is a Cancer card also. Uh, King of Cups, they're a male, can be a female. They're very romantic. They're very loving. They're very kind. They're very gentle. They're very in control of their emotions. They are, um, they could be older than you. If they're not older than you, they are older in their, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Their soul, you know, like an old soul energy. Uh, they could be very...
very knowledgeable as to um, what they are wanting in a relationship. Um, again, romance, happiness. Uh, they'll wear their heart on them sle their sleeve. They they want, you know, they they feel. They have emotion. They express themselves. They can be your poets. They can be the people that you know uh, write you love songs or whatever. They're just very very sweet and romantic. So. Um, that could be a potential partner coming in or a potential person coming in. So pay attention to that as well. And um, especially since this is under the manifestation card and the Ten of Wands where, you know, you're you're done this burden you're carrying. You're done whatever it is that you are, um, that you've been holding on to or what you've been car carrying for for so long. Bottom of the deck energy. Uh, we already did that. I'm sorry. We had the, the chariot. That's right. I thought I missed it. <laughs> like I already talked about the chariot. So yeah, we've already done bottom of the deck energy. There's movement there. There is being in control of the situation. I see that in the chariot. I see that in the magician card as well. And that's the thing too with the king of cups. The king of cups is in a controlling energy. It's a very laid back, very, um, again, kind energy. It's a energy of intuition you know that could even come into um i think the choices where i said that you might feel that this person's coming in that kind of energy yep trust it's all about trust and mystery all right um again trusting people knowing what you want knowing what you're putting into the relationship right Putting in all the work, knowing what you want, standing firm, standing your ground. Trust, honesty, right? Like-mindedness. If you trust, you expect them to trust. That kind of energy. We also have mystery. This can be double-edged, I feel. This could be like, um, you know, meeting new people, how mysterious, how fun. <clears throat> but it also can talk about, be careful for where people wear masks and they don't show themselves the, they don't show you their true selves until later on down the road. So I see that as, you know, trusting your intuition, especially with the King of Cups. But I also see it as um, getting to know somebody. It's like the longer you can get to know somebody, the more you can talk to somebody, the more consistent somebody is, the better off the relationship might be when it does take off. So be aware of that. Be aware of that energy. The mystery can be fun. It's fun to be mysterious and all the stuff. But also be careful that, um, you know, they're not hiding an ex or a, um, a spouse. <laughs> that kind of mystery you don't want. You know, trust is, trust is your utmost, um, what you're looking for in the relationship, right? All right, one more card for Taurus. Singles, love, please, for July 2022. What does Taurus need to know? The spring. And if you're in another part of the country, we are going into summer here, but we are in spring right now. So you could be going into spring as we go into summer. I'm not quite sure how all that works, but you know, you all know. Um, I also see this as um, hope springs eternal. I also see this as putting your hopes and your dreams into something and you know, a, a, releasing it and allowing it to go forward, right? Releasing it and allowing it to go forward. Let's see, where is... Um, oops, wrong book. I was wondering, it's like none of this is making sense. Give me just a second. Spring. It's probably everything I've already said. That happens to me all the time. It's like I don't even know why I try. I just feel like I'm going to forget something. Hmm. Oh, there it is right there. 13. Sorry, guys. A page off from it. 
it just says allow water to cure you release your emotions and anxieties and that could be too where um, that beautiful king of cups energy comes in you know releasing the emotions and anxieties releasing what's not serving you the king of cups is very much emotionally imbalanced with themselves so they could be a wonderful person to have around because they're not going to be overly emotional they're just going to be very chill and very intuitive and very they can even be very psychic so have to let me know Taurus good luck to you um, you do have some options here so I'd like to know what happens and what choices you make so stay safe stay healthy be blessed if you like these readings I put out readings every Saturday for the week ahead um, they are health and career finance and love so check those out subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss anything again Taurus thank you so much for watching stay safe stay healthy be blessed until next time bye for now